long since we last connected. It could be the beginning of any standard therapy session. It's okay to not be okay. But neuroscientist Daniel Toker is talking to a machine. Obviously, I know it's not sentient, it's not a person, but it feels that way. He's been using ChatGPT for about a year, in addition to his actual therapist. It honestly surprised me how well it worked and how useful a tool it's been. OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, says it's not a replacement for mental health treatment, and we encourage users to seek support from professionals. And while multiple studies show ChatGPT can provide valuable support, the American Psychological Association is concerned with generative AI-powered chatbots being used for mental health. I think it's really important for individuals to understand that not only is this not a replacement for a human provider, the chances that it could provide inaccurate information is just too high. There is one FDA-approved chatbot that offers scripted therapeutic responses, but none with generative AI, where the bot learns about you and offers individualized replies. I am feeling like I want to get back together with him. At Dartmouth College in New Hampshire, Nicholas yes, Jacobson no. hopes yes, to change no. that. Most people don't receive any type of mental health care. And a lot of that is, I think, a scale problem. Mental Health America estimates more than 28 million U.S. adults with a mental illness are not getting treatment. Jacobson wants Therabot, now in clinical trial, to become the first FDA-approved generative AI chatbot for mental health. How does it compare with an actual therapist? So generally right now, the content's pretty similar. It's how available it is. Therabot's available 24-7. For now, it's text-based. The user types for on-screen responses. With more than 200 test participants now using the data-trained bot for therapy, each conversation is scrutinized. We want it to say certain things, and we've trained it to act in certain ways. But there's, there's ways that this could um, certainly go off the rails. And that, potentially dangerous. It, absolutely. The demand is overwhelming. Yes. Is this the solution? I think this is a solution. One that, if it works, could go a long way to help America's mental health crisis. Aaron McLaughlin, NBC News, Hanover, New Hampshire. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.